Hi, so today we're going to discuss um, why some people get success very early in life while some get success at a, a decent age when they're supposed to, like in their mid-twenties and why some people find success late in life, like uh, their midlife, like 35 and over or early forties, however everybody does find success. Um, the only factor in astrology that determines when and how and how quickly and uh, you know how delayed your success is going to be in life is ruled by one planet and that planet is Sun that's right and I'm not gonna go into this whole Sun sign thing it doesn't have anything have to do with Sun sign it mainly has to do with Sun being in this one particular sign and this one particular position that creates uh, delay in success in people's lives. So, sun there in astrology there's something something called known as ex exhalation and deliberation. So, certain planets are excelled in certain signs. Certain planets are deliberated in certain signs. Okay, so sun in excel is excelled in Aries, the very first sign of the zodiac, and sun is deliberated uh, in Libra, which is opposite of Aries. So whenever you have sun in Libra, especially sun between 5 to 15 degree uh, Libra, you will have to struggle in the first half of your life in order to um, get any kind of gain or any kind of success or any kind of stability in your life where you are you know, getting a career of your dreams or a career that is stable, you're getting married on time or uh, you know, you're having children on time. So all these factors are controlled by the sun because sun is the he's the generator he's the oil in your car he's the, he he's the gas you know so when he's weak in the sign of Libra it pretty much delays it however it doesn't deny it it delays it okay now what are the factors of how delayed your success is in life now that depends upon this thing called Dikbala meaning the directional strength of the sun because in astrology certain planets in certain houses hold certain type of a strength so depending upon the strength of the sun that too determines how quickly or how easily or how delayed your success going to be in life okay so one of the determining factors um, about getting attaining success in life is when a sun is placed in certain houses that it doesn't get a directional strength it's not able to see a full aspect onto the other houses when it's you know it's like uh, you having uh, gas in your car however your car is ready it started but it's in park mode it's not in the drive mode so no matter how much oil you have in your car if the car is not able to move how is it that you're going to get to your destination? So sun becomes that, in the, uh, becomes that kind of a scenario. So the places where sun loses its directional strength, and while it's in Libra, is when it's in the fourth house. When it's in the fourth house, you know, fifth house, sixth house, okay. So the and, and seventh house, okay. These are the places where sun loses and gains its directional strength, especially fourth house fourth house is where so if I'm standing here in night okay so imagine if this was night at around 10 11 o'clock Sun is directly opposite so if I could see through the ground all the way where maybe like where India is or where Australia is that's where Sun is rising right now okay so Sun is directly on the bottom of the earth which is known as Imam Kuli position for the Sun Imam Kuli is the weakest position for the Sun where medium Kuli is when Sun is up in the sky during noon when it's like the hottest that's when the sun sun is in the 10th house that's when it's powerful so directional strength of the sun is very important okay and then as I mentioned sun being in Libra sun being in you know signs like Capricorn or sun being in uh, sign of uh, Taurus okay either it's enemy sign sign that are ruled by his enemies you know like Venus and uh, Saturn or when sun is in is deliberated position libra or when sun is sitting with the north or south node rahu and ketu that's another important because rahu puts an eclipse on the sun 
So when there's an eclipse on the sun, it's losing its power. However, that eclipse always moves. So this is how it determines. So first half of your life is full of eclipse. Second half is without the eclipse. The sun is shining brightly. So this is why people find success after 35. Because after 35, if you have sun in Libra, in any one of these degrees from 5 to 15 or even 5 to 22 degrees, um, that's where uh, you will find success after the age of 35. So you may not be able to get your education, your career, your wife, get married, have a, have children or find a husband or you know get your dream career. Anything of that sort will be delayed. Okay, And usually when Sun is weak, you're going to see that Saturn is powerful or Saturn is somehow looking at the Sun in somehow in, or or sun or saturn is getting more power over the sun when sun is weak and that usually it's a synchronized motion of the planets because when saturn is strong stronger than the sun then saturn the the lord of delay okay lord of delay he is taking full part into your life into teaching you lessons into delaying things so um as we discussed, that the delay of the thing happens when the sun is in Libra, when the sun doesn't have its directional strength, when the sun is eclipsed by the north or south node. But let's also discuss what brings early success in life. So now let's say people who get success in life, early in life, like Justin Bieber, Michael Jackson, you know, he became a star at a young age, at 14, 15, you know, Britney Spears, um, Christina Aguilera. Um, there's so many of them, you know, Justin not uh, Justin Timberlake okay this kind of success when it comes really early in life it's due to the fact their Sun and their Mars is very strong because Sun is again it's the vital force it is the engine it's the the it's it's like that gas that petroleum that engine for your life your your vitality in life so these people have very strong Sun but in order to really gain success in life, you need the energy of Mars. Mars, which is your willpower. Like, people who have excelled Mars in their chart, if they say, I am going to get my bachelor's degree at the age of 19, and I'm going to go to med school by the age of 21, and I'm going to be a doctor by the age of 25, you know what? I will bet money on those people that they will achieve what they set out to do. Versus somebody who has a weak son, and strong Mars or strong Mars or weak Sun I will not put my money on that just as much you know on the other person uh, but again you can obviously beat the power of the planets but um, people who have Sun in the 10th house and Mars in the 10th house or Sun in the first house or Sun in the 11th house or Sun in the 9th house you know you get a lot of support from father your father pushes you your father pushes you to get, get success in life and all of these people okay have had their father especially Michael Jackson even though he hated his father because of his father Michael Jackson really became who he is because of Joe Jackson even though he beat him he abused him he made him you know the star that he is otherwise Michael Jackson wanted to play video games he wanted to be a normal kid but the father pushed it so father becomes that vital force in your life okay so these are the people that gain success very early on now what about the people who gain success you know, at an average time, but in your mid-twenties, you're married, career set, you're getting your first child by 27, 28. Those people have strong sun or a medium strong sun and a medium strong Mars. You know, they have one or the other. Okay. And there's obviously all the other planets also come into play. However, sun always becomes a main factor in, uh, in success or failure in people's life. So people who have, let's say, you know, sun in Scorpio or sun in... Aries and Sun in uh, you know um, Gemini or Cancer or Leo the Sun is own sign and you know Sun is situated in the uh, first 12th 11th 10th 9th even 8th house that person is able to achieve things at a normal pace in their life okay and so this is a, these are the things you might want to look for in your own chart to see how you know how quickly you got success or why is it that you're not getting success because the number of in factor if you're in your middle life and you're not married and you're struggling with a career and you're trying to get your education done everything that all takes place because of the fact your son doesn't have that 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 power that it needs 
but don't worry about it you will get it As after the age of 35 sun finally shines whether it was eclipsed or not you know whether it was having its directional strength or not uh, it it always shines brightly you know it's like the age is the same like behind the cloudy sky sun is always shining so when the clouds evaporate sun shines away okay so anyway this was just a little quick um, uh, talk on uh, success and failure in life obviously there are many more factors but I just wanted to give emphasis on the Sun anyway subscribe above because more stuff coming and check out my web link below to know more about true astrology thank you